Evertech Play at Electronic and Automation in Utrecht. We are here with Eurocircuits, Dirk Stan. Last time we met, it was at Electronica, a fair possibly 10 times the size of this. What is it that attracts you with a smaller show, a local show like this? Hi Dennis, I'm indeed Dirk. And uh, what is interesting about electronics and automation is that it's uh, right in the midst of our home market. In uh, Holland alone, we have uh, over 1,300 active customers, Belgium 900, and here we attract, or uh, let's say we, uh, we can invite all those customers and uh, be near to them. And that is the difference with uh, Electronica, because most of these customers are not coming to Munich. So here we are right in the midst of our uh, home market, which of course is something uh, where we need to be. Yeah? There's been a lot of movement around your booth there. I haven't had the chance to go and visit you, but I heard uh, talk about some new developments. Could you tell me a bit about that? Well, the movement around our booths is... Uh, there are several reasons for that, I think. First of all, we do have a lot of customers here locally, uh, for which I'm uh, very uh, grateful. Then the uh, second thing is uh, we participate also in the gadget project, uh, for which we sponsored all the all the PCBs, not only the one here on the shop floor uh, that are produced on the uh, on the exhibition, but also the prototypes up front, the pre-production up front. So we are one of the major partners, and therefore we have a lot of contact moments. So all the people that are assembling their uh, their gadget here on the shop on the exhibition floor, the, a lot of them have to come uh, by us, but also. And that's another thing, we have uh, a new development, that's true. We have, uh, since this weekend, on Sunday, our new website went live. And uh, as I told you in, uh, in Munich, uh, our motto for uh, these days is uh, Eurocircus goes visual. And uh, that is a clear strategy for us to visualize the PCB as soon as possible. We launched PCB Visualizer last year, where we visualized the board. Then after that we launched uh, PCB Checker, where we uh, show the customer all his individual design rule check, uh, check mistakes. And now on top of that we launched uh, PCB Configurator, where he can adapt his uh, order details towards uh, what is actually in the, in the data he delivers to us. Or he can even make uh, life easier for him and just upload the data and say uh, fill in all the details of the order based on what is in the data. So a lot of more, uh, a lot more customer friendliness that we build in, in, uh, in our interface. And last but not least, people are uh, coming to us also by the end of the day because uh, here on Electronics and Automation, we are neighbors of our uh, friends TBP. And we are a Belgian company, they're from Holland, they organize the bar and we bring the Belgian beer, so everybody's happy. Well, if we go back uh, a year, 2012 wasn't a funny year for a big part of the industry, but you guys didn't actually do too bad. Uh, the main reason behind it is the strategy or the focus that you have and others lack. What, what is the focus that makes you so successful? Yeah. Well, basically, I'm not too fond of looking at others, and, uh, and basically, I look to myself. But what we do, uh, first of all, in 2012, we uh, grew again in number of customers and orders. We delivered over 62,000 different orders in 2012 to uh, about 8,000 different customers in Europe. And the reason why we keep on growing is because uh, we have a clear focus on what we are uh, offering to the market. That is prototypes and small series based on uh, standard PCB technology and bring it to the market in the most convenient way uh, that is possible. Make it easy for the customer to, uh, to order and make it easy and convenient and comfortable to uh, communicate his data with, with us. And that is the going visual. We are trying to achieve a very high level of, uh, let's say, customer convenience. And that seems to work. And if you stick to the strategy, sooner or later it pays off. So we grow in customers, we grow in orders, not so much in turnover. That's because uh, the series in the market, as you say, there is a crisis. So uh, th those are not so much there today. But uh, I always say growing in customers and orders is the big fortune of tomorrow. Benelux is your region. That's where you own that market. What other market will we see you try and take over? Well, 
I'm not sure that the government of Belgium and Holland would be too pleased if I say I own the market because <laughs> nobody owns it really. But uh, it's true that we are in uh, in this market. I would say one of the main players, if not the market leader. Um, but we are also strong, very strong in France and in uh, many other regions uh, in Europe. And we, uh, of course, we try to grow in uh, in all major uh, regions in Europe. We have a lot of uh, subsidiaries: Switzerland, we have uh, Italy, we have France, we have England, we have Germany, Hungary. So all countries where we are locally active. And, uh, and where we have uh, a good basis to grow based on our local presence. But also in the south of, uh, of Europe, we are growing very well. And maybe, who knows, uh, even in your home country in Sweden, uh, one day we will uh, make a big step. Why not? Thank you for the interview. You're welcome.